There were so many emotions in this finale. Joy, happiness, and even relief for a lot of people. But there was also sadness and regrets on the other side. Now since Isna has been formed, we want to take a deeper look at who is the real deal and who has a lot of catching up to do. So in this video we're gonna rank Isna members according to their vocal, dance and rap abilities. Let's get straight into it. In terms of raw skill we have to put Mai on 7th place for now, mostly due to her vocal and rapping abilities, which are obviously influenced her not being a native speaker, but I think she already has and will improve a lot. Now some people might argue that stage presence and visuals are also a skill. I think they can be, but in this video we will not consider them. But what I will say is that Mai has definitely one of the most unique auras of this industry right now and I can understand why she's being very polarizing and why a lot of people like her. Moving on, we have Jong Sebi on sex place. As the youngest member of Isna, and also as someone who is killing the stage, she definitely has a lot of time to improve in her other areas. But as of right now, she's probably the weakest dancer on Isna, as she would sometimes forget parts of the choreo. In some of the missions, she tried to rap, but it didn't turn out too well. And also in vocal abilities, she's probably ranking somewhere below average right now. Next up we have Pang Jimin. She's someone who really brings this leadership aura to the team and I think she deservedly gets a lot of love from not only the members but also fans. In terms of raw abilities, I think she's very solid. She's sort of like a jack of all trades but master in none. However, I think she definitely has some center potential alongside with Yongun and Sebi. So we, we will see who turns out to be the center. On fourth place, we have one of our two main vocalists, Jiyun, also known as the queen of emotions. <laughs> Her singing just makes me really like having goosebumps all the time. However, as one of the only real rookies without much trainee time before, she really does lack in some other areas. For example, in stamina, dance and also stage presence. I think she just sometimes looks very tired and lost. So if she can improve in these areas, she could be like a real ace. Next up we have our main dancer Coco. I just love her dance. Despite her height, she makes these movements so detailed and flowy and she's also a very good rapper. Like I don't know why all these Japanese K-pop idols rap so well, but I guess that's just how it is. The only thing that makes her not rank higher is her vocal abilities. I think in that department she still can improve a lot. But other than that, she's very skilled and very good. Now on second place, probably to the surprise of many, we have Liu Sarang. I think people might judge her because of these one or two voice cracks, but basically she is 
like a top three in all categories, even top two in rap. Even the MCs knew that she was an all-rounder, and I think her dance is very underrated. And on top of everything, she has like a great stage presence. I mean, look at her, she's gorgeous, right? So in my opinion, Sarang is probably one of the most complete rookies out there in the fifth gen. And I'm saying this as someone who one-picked Fuka all the time. Last but not least, and to the surprise of nobody, we have the one and only Jung Un on top one. I mean, she just has it all, right? Like, she even applied as a main dancer. And I saw some videos of her being 13 and rapping. But ironically, she ended up being the most stable vocalist as well. So that's Jung Un for you. So yeah, this basically concludes our video today. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoy these type of ranking videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do me a favor and subscribe and it would help me a lot. Thanks for watching and have a great day.